Won't be long before we hear some rain showers on the roof of the windows going throughout the overnight hours. As you look at Exact Track radar, we have a sprawling weather system bringing a lot of rain and storms across the center part of the nation, upper Midwest and into the Great Plains. Lots of snow and even some freezing rain and ice in spots. We might just hear some rain showers, and that is about it, at least for tonight and into tomorrow. You can see this weather system has us kind of right near the warm front, so that'll allow some gentle rain as well as uh, some warmer air enough that we don't see any freezing rain through the rest of tonight and into tomorrow morning as it starts to push past us. The rain exits tomorrow afternoon, but then the trailing end of this system brings in some colder air. So you can see by the time we get to Wednesday, maybe talking about light snowfall that'll extend into Thursday too. So we go from spring conditions for the next 24 hours back to winter, which is where we should be around this time of year over the rest of the week. So some soaking rainfall on the way for the overnight hours. Uh, the near record warmth coming for tomorrow that'll help keep freezing rain and ice away through the rest of the night. So a little more locally at exact track radar. You can see the showers aren't too far away. They're about to cross the Mississippi in some spots in Joe Davies County picking up some light rain right now. Turning to future track, you can see overnight right at about one in the morning. It's when we'll get the bulk of the heavier rain and you can see some heavier downpours, especially south of I-88. That more moderate to heavy rain is out by about three to four in the morning. Here we are closer to sunrise and seeing light showers again so might we be when you're waking up you'll notice some light rainfall from time to time by the end of the morning or at least the middle of it we have some dry conditions and I might get one last little round of showers right at about noon to one o'clock tomorrow but that doesn't look to stick around for very long when it comes to rain amounts at least a half an inch of rain some spots approaching an inch so a hefty amount of shower activity on the way tonight and again possibly tomorrow afternoon so as you plan out your day look for again showers right at about seven o'clock then after that we got that break in between before we see another quick round of showers after 11 that should be dry by the afternoon or gone by the afternoon and then we'll drive throughout the remainder of the day and evening hours as we wait that colder air. Tomorrow definitely the opposite though. Middle 50s near record warm temperatures ahead along with those early showers. But again, we get back to wintry conditions later on in the week with some light snow possible between Wednesday and Thursday. Watch for some slick spots by Thursday. And that's as we do see temperatures returning to those wintry levels late this week. And that means the middle 30s for highs starting Wednesday. Wednesday. That'll last into the weekend with plenty of sunshine, so it'll be nice to see the sun again once we finally get to the weekend. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, the weather does stay on the wintry end going into next week. So after this round of spring weather, it might go away for a little while, even though the weather does stay a tad on the mild side going into next week. In the four degree guarantee, hit the bullseye today. That means cash totals up to 26, hoping to build that total up a lot as we begin the new year. Hey, new year right on the bullseye. Can't complain about that, Alex. Thanks.